welcome back to stylish niger youtube channel i want to say thank you to all of my subscribers thank you so much for subscribing to my youtube channel okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew this off shoulder hanger sleeve dress so someone actually sent it to me one of my subscribers that's what i'm going to be teaching you how to do today it is a very simple dress yes very simple i would say so this our emphasis is going to be on the sleeve so most uh, times i get requests on how to do this kind of off shoulder sleeves so we're going to be treating that on this channel that after on today's class you should be able to actually attach this kind of sleeve to your off shoulder dresses okay so if you are new to my channel if you have not subscribed please i would appreciate if you will hit on the subscribe button like my video share my video with your friends and then you can also follow me on all of my social media platforms facebook instagram pinterest all of them are stylish and then if you want to register for our online classes so you can see my number scrolling through the screen you can send me a message on whatsapp so let's just get started yeah thank you so please subscribe i would appreciate that so these are the fabrics that i'm going to be using i'm going to be mixing my fabric and use the ankara for the down part and then the red plain fabric for the top and then the sleeves part okay so this kind of dress you can actually make it you can make it as a bustier you can make it as a normal regular waist that so for this we're going to be making a bustier so i already have my pattern laid out so i'm just going to explain quickly what i have here so in, in making an up shoulder dress what you are going to do we're going to be dropping our shoulder with five inches so i already have my five inches so i have a more detailed pattern on the channel so i'm going to drop the link in the description box so we're going to drop so this is our five inches that we use to do the sleeve parts which is like the hanger or the shoulder that's five inches and then my bust point is 10 inches and then under bust is 13 and then i have my half cut which is 17 inches and then one inch for allowance so I've inserted my shoulder, my bust dart. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the neck dart bustier pattern. So I have a, a video on it. So we're just going to continue from this point. Now the next thing we're going to do now, we're going to cut this out. This is like a simple method of doing this. So I'm just going to cut this out now. And then before we take out our full body measurement. So you can take this like this and then you add it just place it like this so with this it's going to be easy for you i'll just place it like this on top and then i'll take out my full body measurement the first thing i'm going to take out now is the is the neckline so for the neckline i'm going to be using i'm going to be using the width i'm going to use i'm going to use five inches So this is my five inches because it is like a a tube so this is like this is my five inches and then the depth because you know this is five inches already so the depth i'm going to use 6.5 inches for my neck depth so from this point i'm just going to curve this like this and then i'll from this point from this neck point i'm going to link it into my armhole point like this so my armhole i'm going to be using eight inches so for this depends on how wide you want the neck to be but mine i want my off shoulder i want it to grip properly normally you can reduce just one inch from your shoulder measurement so that is mine instead of using five inches my shoulder is seven inches thus you divide your shoulder into three seven inches so you can actually take out one and use six inches but i decide to use five inches because i want it to i want it to to be tight i don't want it off shoulder that i'll be falling off so that is why i'm using this the next thing i'm going to add now is my full body measurement so my bust is nine inches which is 36 so i'm not going into details in this 36 i'm just going to add allowance and then my under bust I'm using 30 inches. So 
So this is 7.5. When you divide into two, and then I will add my three inches allowance. And then for the down also, 32, which is eight inches. Okay, so eight inches, and then I'm going to add my allowance. So I would from this point, I will connect all of my lines together. So I'm going to hide it. So I'm going to cut out now. So for the neckline, if you want it to be higher, you can just use instead of the three inches that I used, you can make it, you can bring it to the top. So it depends on what you want. But I'm using five inches. That's I'm removing two inches from my measurement instead of one. So you see what I have now. So this I'm going to place on my fabric and then cut out the top part of my dress. So the back is going to be a regular pattern. So I'll show you. So for the back, here's what you are going to do. You're just going to take it like this and then place it. Just add your zipper allowance this is my zipper allowance part i'll just place it like this also this is my extra zip allowance on this side and then i would cut out like this so for the back i want my back i want the back part of my pattern i want it to be a little bit deeper by at least one inch i'm just going to come from this point like this I'll come down by one inch and then I'll blend it into this point. And then I'll add my darts. So I'll just place this like this. And then from this point, I'll add my darts. So I'm just going to mark it like this. So these are just like simple way of so I'll put a notch. So I'm going to add my regular waist that. So I'll just put my notch here. So I'll know that that's where my that is going to be. So this is my back piece. So I'll transfer them to my fabric right now. Okay, so I've finished cutting my top body. So for the skirt part, I'm going to be using my regular skirt. Because you could see it's a straight skirt pattern. So that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to cut out my straight skirt pattern right now. So I have a video of this in case you don't know how to cut a straight skirt. I don't want to go over it again so that the video will not be too long. So I'll just drop the link in the description box. So I'm going to transfer this to my fabric also right now. Okay, so I finished cutting out all of my pieces. So I'm going to go and iron my dress. I'm not going to be padding this dress. I'm just going to sew it like that. So I will go and stitch all of them together. Join the top part to the front, and then I will come back and show you how it looks like. Okay, so I finished stitching my the top bodies together, and then I finished stitching my skirt. So what the next thing I'm going to do now, I'll take my piece, and then I'll go and join them together. So I actually did not part this dress; it's just plain. So you can actually sew your bustiers like that, even without parting them. So, and then I'll join the back piece to the back piece and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to add the, the drape in front to it. Okay, so I finished joining. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to be adding the drape on the side of the skirt to it. I'm actually not doing a slash and spread, so I'm just going to be using a freehand pleat to add my drape to it. And then the drape is not going to be as full as the one that is on the picture. So I'm going to measure what I have. So what I have, the outcome of my fabric, that's what I'm going to use. So this is the fabric that I'm going to be using. And then the length that of the fabric, what I have here is 24 inches. So at the end of the day, I should pleat it, let it be, let it come to about 10 inches. Or that's from this point to this point. So my drape will start from here. And end here, it will not be as full as the other one. So that's the length of my fabric, and then the width of the fabric that I'm using for my drape. 
the width is 28 inches so this way this fabric i'm going to cut out two pieces one on this side and then the other one on this side so what i'm going to do now i'm going to mark my 10 inches point so from this point i'm going to mark up to 10 inches that is where i'm going to stop my pleats it is a simple process so i'm just going to come like this i'm going to start pleating so the first one i'm going to i'm going to pin it on that top part like this so like i said i don't want to use the slash and spread i'm just going to do it in a very simple way and then i'm going to pleat it to fit into this point so it depends on how much fullness you want that is what you would use and then the, the the width of your of your plate depends on how wide you want it you can actually determine that also So for this last one here, I'm going to turn it, let it, so it is hidden inside. So what I have here now, I'm going to do on this side also. Okay, so you see I finished joining them on the side. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going, I'll go and join my back piece of my dress i'll go and join them together and then we'll come out come back and then we'll cut out the sleeves okay so i finished stitching my dress together my drape so like i said if you want yours to be fuller you can decide to double this measurement that i used so with that it will look very full like the one on the picture okay so the next thing we're going to do now we're going to draft out our sleeve so for this kind of off-shoulder sleeve, if you notice, you notice that it has something like a hanger where the sleeve, the off-shoulder sleeve is sitting before attached, being attached to the main dress. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to draft out the sleeve and then before we cut out the hanger pattern. The hanger pattern is just like a, a strap, so it depends on how many inches wide you want it to be. So what we're going to do now, so for our off-shoulder pattern, I'm going to be using my paper. I'll cut it out. So when I'm extending to my, when I'm transferring to my fabric, I will en enlarge it. That's I will, I will do like a, like I will slash and spread it to, to get that puff to be bigger. So the next thing we're going to do, I'm going to come to my dart lines here on my dart line. So it depends on where you want, but most times it's always good to attach your, your off shoulder sleeve start from your dart line so it makes it to sit properly on the body so what i'm going to do from this part i'm going to measure my round sleeve measurement so my round sleeve measurement is actually 10 inches so for an off shoulder sleeve for those of you that don't know how to draft so you measure five inches like this and then the next thing you know we are dropping with five inches so normal standard measurement for round sleeve measurement is usually nine inches so this is my round sleeve that's this part in case you don't know what it is that's that bicep area that part so it's 10 inches that's the round mine is 10 inches okay so okay let me show you again this part that's 10 inches so i'm going to it's divided into two because my fabric is folded into two so i have five inches here and then the next thing, I'm going to use 9 inches for my round sleeve. So because I already have 5 inches, because I'm going to be dra dropping with 9 inches, with 5 inches, that's my strap, of normal off-shoulder drop is 5 inches. So I'm going to use 9 inches. So from this point, I'm going to come to this point like this. I'm going to mark 9 inches and then I'm going to curve it like this into this part like this. I'll curve it like this. And then the next thing you are going to measure the width of your sleeve. So for this, the width of my sleeve does is 14 inches. So I'm going to use 14 inches to divide into two, you have seven. And then I'm going to connect it like this. So this is like your regular straight off shoulder sleeve. And then I'm just going to mark like this. So this is my regular 
off shoulder sleeve so you can decide to to slant it a little bit to slope it so it's not looking too straight so i'm going to cut it out and then So for those of you that don't know how to draft an off shoulder sleeve, this is just like a simple off shoulder sleeve. So the next thing, now we're going to transfer it to our fabric. So in transferring to my fabric, like I said, I'm going to slash it because I want, I want it bigger. I, even this part, I want every part of the sleeve bigger. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to use one, one inch interval to slash it. So you can just decide to you can decide to do it straight as to just so what i'm going to do i'm literally just going to still freehand it here so you will see it for those of you that don't know how to do this so for this i'm just using Slash and spread. So basically, if I'm going to use free hand to do this, just like a free hand, because the next thing I'm going to do now is just for me to to take this part like this, just to measure it like this. And then this part, so note that this part is not going to be pleated, so you need this exact measurement. So this comes like this. And then on this part, you can decide to also increase. Why you are doing this? So this is going to be sleeve. This is the sleeve. So this part you are going to pleat, and then this part you are going to pleat. So that's just basically how simple it is. But normally, if this is my sleeve, but if I want to use a free hand to do this, without a pattern here's what i'm going to do let me just turn this side and use it so since my round sleeve is 10 inches i can decide to make it 14 inches that's the from this point to this point i can decide to make it 14 inches and then i'll still maintain my five inches drop and then i'll come like this i'll mark this point like this this is my round sleeve part this part i'm going to pleat and then the length of the sleeve I'm going to come like this and then I'll mark the length depends on how big I want so I can decide to let me use 14 inches and then the width on this part because I'm still going to pleat this part I can decide okay this down part since normally my round sleeve is 6 inches which is 12 so I can decide to double it and then I'll have 12 inches like this and then from this point I'll mark like this so this part also I'm going to pleat so this is just like basically how to do a free hand of this sleeve so i'm just trying to show you for those of you that will not understand this pattern method you can decide that's the slash and spread method you can decide to still do it this way you will get it so it depends on what you want okay so i hope this is helpful so we can decide which of the patterns we want to cut okay let's cut the free hand pattern so this is my round sleeve part which is like constant it's not elongated it's just normal and then this part, I'm going to pleat this part to fit into my hanger. Okay. This part will pleat this part. And then this part also will pleat. So you see, it is looking like the sleeve that is on the picture. And then this part is where we are going to join. The next thing we are going to do now, we are going to cut out the hanger of our sleeve which is it depends on how many inches you actually use to drop your sleeve that is how many inches you are going to use to drop your hanger so for mine i used five inches so my fabric is folded into two so what i'm going to do i'm going to come to this point like this it is folded into four so you see it you have to fold it because it has to have a fold on the top don't cut this part open you take like this And then you measure this is my five inches so i'm not going to leave it at five inches i'm going to measure about seven inches because i need allowance so this is my seven inches now and then i'm going to determine the width that i want 
for my hanger. So for this, I'm going to be using about two inches, but I'll make it 2.5. Why? Because I'll need to stitch the sleeve. I'll connect it to this point. So from this point like this, I'm just going to mark like this. So you can decide to make it straight or you can decide to slope it. So most times, just slope it. Okay, so at the end of the day, here is what I want. So this is one. So that is why you fold it into four. This is one. So with this, this side is going to be neat and then this side is going to be hidden. So you take your sleeve like this. So I'll show you how to connect this sleeve. Now you take your sleeve like this and then you mark your five inches. This is my five inches points like that. Now open it up like this and then this part i'm going to pleat it let it fit into this point from this point to this point so you can leave like quarter of an inch and then you're going to start pleating you can decide to pleat it just pleat it first like this So you pleat it, let it fit into this point. That's your, your sleeve measurement. That's the off shoulder point, which is 10 inches, which is five inches drop. That's five plus five, which is 10. Because you see it's folded into two. You pleat it, let it fit into that part. And then for the down part, you are going to pleat this down part to your round sleeve measurement. So it depends on your round sleeve measurement. You can decide to use an elastic on this one, on this down part. You can decide to use an elastic on it. So I'm going to go ahead and go and pleat. I'll pleat this down part and then pleat the top part. I'll do that on my machine. And then I'll bring it back for you to see. Okay, so I have finished fixing my sleeve. So you could see just the way I explained to you. So I pleated this part on the hanger. So the truth is, I don't know what this thing is called. <laughs> so I'm just using hanger. So in case you know, oh, please, you can drop drop the name for me on the comment section so i've pleated it on the hanger and then my sleeve the down part of the sleeve so i added elastic so i just used elastic on mine so you can pleat it so i think it looks better so now i'm going to show you how to fix this so this is my dart line like this all you are going to do is you are going to come like this so you see your round sleeve part and then you take it like this and then you attach it like this so you see how it is looking beautiful. So this part now, this is your five inches of your off shoulder and it is sitting. So you're just going to fix it. As you take this one like this from the back like this, you fix it to your armhole and then this other one also on this side and then you fix to get to the edge of your armhole like this. And then the same thing, you repeat this one on this side like this. So you could see that the dress is looking like what we have. So I'll put this it up. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it and then I'll place it on the mannequin for you to see the final look of this blouse, of this gown. So if you find this video helpful, I would appreciate if you hit on the like button to make me know you appreciate what I did. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. So I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Okay, so at the end of the day, you will see how our dress came out, our off shoulder hanger sleeve dress came out so it actually came out beautifully well the parts that i like so much on this dress is this strip part it came out very beautiful okay so you can see so for the for the sleeve depends on how wide you want your neckline to be that is what we determine how off rather you want it to be that is how what will determine how much you shift your your sleeve that's the hanger if you shift it more it will become short and as it will be, it will become tight but if you bring it it will, it will off more so thank you so much if you find this video helpful i will appreciate it if you hit on the like button thank you so much